what's going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so if you're listening to this video as of now it's probably been uploaded minutes after the report came out that i was waiting to come out but yes shining veil vale has been canceled it is not getting a third season how did i have this video up so fast it's pre-recorded that's why and for those of you who are monitoring monitoring my twitter you know i put out a tweet saying that there was a video i had in the drafts and i would upload it once everything became official and reported by the media outlets like variety deadline and probably others that i'm not considering because again this is being pre-recorded but yes shining veil is not getting a third season for those of you who are fans of that courtney cox show i know that's disappointing but the reason this correlates to the door opening for scream 7 is because we know that in scream 6 courtney cox's schedule was basically tied up because of her commitments to shining veil so now she has nothing holding her back as far as we know from a project standpoint there's no other projects that we know she has lined up potentially outside of what would have been shining veil's third season now granted we didn't know if it would have been shooting around the same time as as scream 7 but scream 7 again is trying to shoot in 2024 but now her schedule is wide open so with the loss of melissa barrera the loss of Jenna Ortega, that does raise a bigger opportunity for her to obviously sign on. Yes, I know that a lot of people would prefer that she does not sign on, but let's not ignore the fact that this does indeed open the door. It makes it more of a possibility that she is likely to sign on to do Scream 7, if nothing else comes her way. Because what I always want other, what I think everybody should also remember when it comes to what we were just in support of were these actors and their strikes and saying, hey, you know what? Go out there and get your fair share. If there's little to no opportunity to keep doing the profession you love, that is why I can I can see why certain people would end up signing on to Scream 7. If you don't have anything else lined up, if you need to put food on the table if you need money more importantly if you are just someone who has a passion for what you are doing and you don't want to see your industry die and you don't want your strike to be for nothing that is some of the things that i know a lot of stars will likely consider when they sign on for scream 7 because we know scream 7 is inevitably inevitably going to have some stars that participate in it yes they will be judged yes they will probably receive backlash but there's all these other real world possibilities relating to their profession that i'm going to consider as to why they signed on i can't forget the fact that they just struck for months on end fighting to get fair share and with things being canceled left and right like iCarly, shining veil vale, and us and a bunch of other shows that have been canceled as of the as of late you know just squandering opportunities that come your way i wouldn't say is a smart thing to do especially if you don't have other car opportunities lining up courtney cox yes she's a household name she does you could argue yes she does not need to do scream 7 but that's not the point the point of the video is just simply that she has a schedule wide open to do scream 7 that would allow her to commit as of now because we don't know of anything else she could possibly have lined up Nothing is stopping her with Shining Veil vale now being canceled. And like I've talked about, if Courtney Cox, Gail Weathers returns, my preference would be for her to have a spotlight on her. The only reason for that is because we know that we're not going to get Sam and Tara Carpenter back, who again, I would argue, they should have the spotlight on them. But we know that Melissa Barrera and Jenna Ortega, more, more importantly, Melissa Barrera was fired for reasons I just, again, don't agree with. You agree with the reasons, that's fine. I can understand the reasons and still not agree with them. But with those two out, if we get Courtney Cox back, get Gail Weathers back, yes, I would argue put the spotlight on her. Now, if Nev Campbell happens to come back and Sidney Prescott is back, I'm not even going to say put the spotlight on her. I, th I think I would prefer you put the spotlight on Gail. Out of the two, if both stars are back, if you have Sidney and Gail back, I'd prefer you put the spotlight on Gail. It's the God honest truth. I think at this point in the franchise and after everything that has happened, if you want to just look at it again from the perspective of the franchise, I think that it is time Gail Weathers has a centric story. And I think you can do that in Scream 7 if Courtney Cox decides to return. She does not have to. She's not obligated. Nobody's obligated to participate in this movie given all of the drama surrounding Spyglass. Nobody's obligated to do the movie. But at the same time, I can't overlook the fact that that a lot of people more than likely are going to sign on just specifically because of the fact we can't ignore 
we don't know what opportunities are out there for them. If this is an opportunity for them to collect a giant check, put a lot of attention on themselves, granted a lot of the attention might be backlash from fans they have. At the end of the day, they have to think about their livelihood and their standing in the industry, not necessarily their standing with their own fan base because their own fan base isn't necessarily what pays them. This the God honest truth. Me being a fan of Nev Campbell isn't what pays Nev Campbell. Me being a fan of Courtney Cox isn't what pays Courtney Cox. Me being a fan of Hayden Pantier, Patrick Dempsey, all of these people I can think of that could possibly sign on, that's not what pays them. What ultimately pays them are these greedy studios who more than likely are going to throw the kitchen sink at them to get them back. But you guys can let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. That's really all I wanted to talk about. The fact that Shining Bell Season 3 has been canceled and how it does leave a giant opportunity of a window open for Courtney Cox to now examine all the opportunities that could be offered to her as it pertains to Spyglass trying to get her back for Scream 7 when they are ready to start, I guess, offering new deals. Let me know what you think about this all down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.